these two birds look very similar, but by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to tell them apart. And get ready because we're starting right now. So to start, I'll just give you the very best tip right away, and that is tail difference. You see, between a crow and a raven, there is some pretty significant tail difference. And on the crow, you can see the tail is a lot more squared, but then on the raven, it is wedge-shaped. And this is universal between crows and ravens. The crows are going to have a squared tail, while the ravens are going to have a wedge-shaped tail. And this is often pretty visible in flight, so that is by far the most reliable way to tell them apart. Now, when I say raven, I actually mean two separate species, and that is the common raven and the chihuahuan raven. Now, the common raven has a much larger range over the United States, while the chihuahuan raven is just found in the southwestern United States. Now, the way to separate the two ravens from crows are exactly the same. Now, a great way to tell crows from ravens is by their size. Crows are much, much smaller than a raven is. Even though the chihuahuan raven is slightly smaller than the common raven, crows are still a lot smaller than it. So, size is a great way to tell them apart, but there are times where, especially if the birds are far apart, it's not going to be very reliable as your judgment can be kind of skewed um, depending on what's around them. But if you happen to find them flying side by side, size is very obvious and a great way to tell them apart. Now, fish crows are very similar to American crows. The best way to tell them apart is by voice. And fish crows could technically overlap with a common raven. Um, occasionally, it's not very likely, though, that they would do that. And all the field marks for the American crow are the same for the fish crow when separating from the common raven. Now, I've already covered tail shape as a way to tell apart crows from ravens. And while that is a great field mark, we often want to have at least two field marks when separating a bird from another bird. And the second best field mark for separating crows from ravens is bill difference. So to give you an idea of the bill difference, let's take a look at these two pictures. So we have here an American crow, and then right here is a common raven. Now you can see the raven has a much larger bill in proportion to its head than compared to the crow. And this is a pretty obvious field mark, and if you don't get a good look at the tail, the next thing to look at is probably going to be the bill, as that is one of the most reliable ways to tell them apart, especially when combined with the tail. Now there are some vocal differences between the crows and ravens. The American crow typically has a lighter pitched haw 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 when compared to the raven, which is usually a deeper croak. And a fun little fact is ravens will often glide while flying, and crows rarely ever glide. They do occasionally though, so that's not a great way to separate them but if it's gliding, chances are going to be pretty good that it is a raven, so that could potentially give you some idea of what the bird you're looking at is. And you usually don't want to separate a bird just by its range, but it can give you a pretty good idea, so let's go over the range of a common raven. We have here the range of the common raven. Purple means that they are found there year-round. They don't alter their range during the year um, like some migratory birds do. So the common raven is found all over New England, comes down the Appalachian Mountains here, and then goes up in northern Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and then a little bit of North Dakota, and then western United States, typically in the mountains. Um, they, common ravens prefer mountains over deserts, so you'll often find them there. In the deserts of the southwest, you'll often find the Chihuahuan raven, while the common raven prefers higher up, higher elevations in the mountains. And so if we compare that with the American crow, you can see they do move around a little bit in the winter, um, so you can find them in certain parts of Texas only in the winter as well as some of New Mexico. And then during the summer they move farther north um, and I believe the range does go into Canada some. Over much of their range they're just going to stay in the same area throughout the entire year. So as you can see on this map um, the American Crow's range pretty much is all over the United States with the exception of the far southwestern United States. And American crows in the southeastern United States over here do overlap with fish crows. And like I said earlier, the best way to tell those apart is by voice. Now, if you are within the range of an American crow, then chances are pretty good that you are also within the range of the downy and hairy woodpeckers. And these birds are very, very hard to tell apart unless you know exactly what to look for. And for a complete video explaining exactly how to identify them, click or tap right here. 